To this day, people do not get drinking water from that cenote. It is generally considered taboo. It's kind of off limits. People don't let their children play near there. And there's a lot of beliefs around this cenote having sort of evil forces or malevolent forces associated with it. Cenotes are sinkholes, and they're important because the main access to the water that you get in the northern Yucatan is through these sinkholes. They're also believed to be accesses to the Maya underworld and the homes of gods. Mayapan is uh, it's a large city. It's incredibly dense for Maya history. There's nothing like it in the classic period. It's a walled city, which is unusual also. The wall includes a number of water-bearing cenotes, but what you see at Mayapan is that the wall diverts noticeably to the north around this cenote, excluding it, and then it diverts back out to include the next one up the line. So it struck researchers from the 1930s on as being incredibly unusual that it seems intentionally excluded. There's no other cenote at the site like that. Well, we have to rappel into the cenote. Um, we actually lower ourselves down, wearing our wetsuits, wearing a caving okay. helmet, and our flippers, okay. which it's a pretty awkward look, frankly, to have, and it's a little bit difficult to, to climb down. The drop from the entrance to the water is something like three stories. We lower our dive equipment down, we put the dive equipment on once we get into the water. The second chamber was, was a real surprise to us. We weren't looking to find a connected cave system. They're not usually that form that far away from the coast. And so what you have is a tunnel, just barely big enough for a person with tanks to get through, and then it opens up into this huge second cavern. You know, when you're underwater, you're using various hand signals because you're underwater. And that was the day I had to come up with a signal like, wow! <laughs> because I just, I, I wanted to scream out loud. I was so excited. Well, the main thing that seems to be there is a lot of human remains. Most of the remains are concentrated in that southwest farthest end. The flow, it turns out, we put some things to float in the water and they, they drift in that direction. So if you had a body and it was in there, it had been deposited, they would normally sort of drift to that far end. And that's where we found the greatest concentration of the remains. There's a section with a number of skulls right up against the wall, long bones of various sorts, arms, legs, vertebra. It's my theory at the moment that they were essentially regular burials, that people had, had died on the surface and that their bodies were being interred there in the cenote. And this is really significant because they're clearly religiously powerful space, and I suspect that there may be some social difference there. Maybe they're higher status individuals, it's hard to say. It seems to me that this is sort of a place of honor, that this is, you know, one of the, the, the more holy places in the city is in these cenotes. For the years when I was diving in the open water, they used to tell us all the time, like, never go into an overhead environment. Anything that is, you know, a rock above your head, if you don't have a clear line of sight to the surface, you're just going to die. But having gotten the data that we did and seen what I've now seen, I, I think it was one of the most thrilling experiences of my life.